Hello guys and a warm welcome along to lesson 12 of my tutorial series basic computer programming okay we're going to take a little bit of a break this week from the usual head crunching stuff that we've been doing over the last few weeks just a little simple program for you in a short video today what I'm showing you in this lesson uh, you've probably picked up from the introductory uh, tutorial I've made on lesson 12 on my site I'll put the link in the description for you for those of you who have come across this video and haven't actually viewed the tutorial yet. What we're basically doing here is using the new statement print using, which you can see here, there, there, and there. Just a very, very simple program, this, which is not listed. This program is not listed on my text tutorial on the site, but I just wanted to show you the differences and then we'll go on to using the program that I've listed on the site. As you can see, we're just letting a variable a equal 22 over 7, which is approximately pi, as we all know, um, which will give us a few decimal places. And then we're going to print that out with three decimal places. As, you, as those of you who've read the tutorial will see there, three decimal places there. We'll print it out with one decimal place and a one that I didn't actually cover, I don't think, in the text tutorial. But as you can see, we haven't got a decimal point there, just four positions which it will assume to be pre-decimal point in front of the decimal point so it will just give us the whole number there then finally we're going to print out the value of a i.e. 22 over 7 just to show you that it doesn't actually adjust the value in a all it does is it formats it when it prints it out okay so what we're going to do then is do a quick run with this and see how this runs and let's see what the results we get okay and there you go you can see to three decimal places is 3.143 to one decimal place it's printed to 3.1 to zero decimal places it's printed 3 and the full number is 3.14286 so that's briefly a quick idea there as you can see three decimal places which are there uh, one decimal place which is there the point and the one hash zero decimal places which is just no point in there at all and obviously the full number which is print a Okay, so let's clear that. And we'll put in the program in now that is listed in the text tutorial I have on the site. And we'll run this one. As I explained in the tutorial, it's a very, very, very simplified program. It's just picking out five five names which are in the data here. It reads, reads the E dollar, which is the, the name. Uh, e stands for employee, reads the rate, which is the rate of pay, and we enter as the employer, we will enter how many hours the person have worked into hours. A very basic calculation, hours times rate, and then it will print, this is the print formatting out, it will print the name, space, pound, dollars, and then it will use this formatting, i.e. two decimal places. This is the point to look at, these two decimal places here, guys. And then the total, which total works out, obviously, the total pay. These ones in front will not use five places, but it's explained why I've put five in the tutorial, and you'll see when we start it running. So as you can see, we've got the data here. Uh, name, rate, name, rate, name, rate, so on, for five employees that we employ in our small company. The loop will go around five times, as you can see. And uh, all we've got to do basically is just enter the hours in every week and it will tell us how much we should pay the employee. Now, as mentioned in the tutorial, it's a very simple program. There's no error checking in here for hours or anything like that. Um, so if you want to add that, we've covered that in the past, you can modify the program to put um, error checking in there if you so wish. Uh, that is entirely up to you. It, this is just basically to show you this function, the print using function. I don't really want to get into confusing matters by giving you um, error checking procedures in here when we've already covered them in previous lessons. Right, with further ado, without further ado, I should say, let's crack on and see what we uh, what we gain from this one. So it comes up with, please enter David Jones hours worked. Okay, well, David Jones it will have worked, say, shall we say, 35 and a half hours and it comes up with how much we should pay him which is 253.46 as you can see it just makes it to the 
to the two decimal places as I've shown you in the previous program example, the quick one that we run. Now then let's enter his brother or son, Ernest Jones hours worked. Okay, so Ernest Jones has worked 40 hours. And as you can see, he's earned a little bit more, 290.28. Barry Starr's hours, um, 45.75. And Simon Poulter's hours, 42. These are just random figures I'm picking from anywhere. You can obviously put your own figures in, whatever you want to do. And this guy's had some time off, so we'll say that he's only done 24 hours. And that should be it. That's the end of the program. As you can see, all the outputs are to two decimal places, i.e. £253.46, £290.28, £326.65, £342.10p, one and one hundred eighty-two pounds eighty-nine. As you can see, it does put a zero in when it's told to print to two decimal places. Even if uh, if it was just a normal program without print using, you would only have three hundred and forty-two point one there, not one zero. So that's actually a good example that we worked out there. And just to show you, to remind you on that the the points, the decimal points for the rates were quite good, quite. You know, most of them were four decimal places. So you can understand that even though we're multiplying by four decimal places, it is actually only displaying two decimal places. So this formatting does work. So I hope that's uh, helped you out, guys. I hope that you can put that to some use in some of the little programs that you're uh, attempting as you're following along this series of tutorials. Like I said, I will put the link to this particular tutorial uh, in the description here. So you can have a look at that, and uh, also I'll give you a link to the site's main page. We have lots and lots of uh, other tutorials that I'm sure you'll uh, love to spend hours looking through, and you'll come up with something that hopefully helps you out and uh, gives you some more information. I'll be making more of these uh, tutorials in the future, so if you like them, please rate them and favourite them, and subscribe to our channel. And uh, I think that's about it for now, guys. So. Uh, Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye for now.